Good evening, and thank you for coming for uh, this screening of Howard Dobbs, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Uh, it's a movie I, I, I adore, uh, but the actual reason why uh, you know, we, uh, I, I decided to include it in this preservation series is because when, when I was thinking about something about the color, what, what we showed a restoration that is really color-centered and, and that, that highlights the color, it, this one came to mind. And um, to introduce the film, from Los Angeles is the person that was actually responsible and oversaw this restoration is uh, Sean Bellston is the longtime head of the Fox uh, archives and now head of content uh, delivery at, um, at Amazon. And uh, Sean is joining us via Zoom. So you will appear on the big screen. Uh, please welcome him. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. And I, I wish I could see my uh, wallpaper on that enormous screen. I, I see a bit of it uh, there. But anyway, uh, thank you for coming out tonight to see uh, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes on the big screen. What a wonderful treat it is. I'm really sorry that I'm not there. And I would love to have the chance to be there and see it with you in person. A little bit about the movie itself, of course. The movie was a critical and commercial success. Uh, it, uh, Jane Russell was the bigger star, uh, the more established star, I should say, but Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, of course, is the movie that really cemented Marilyn Monroe's screen persona. Uh, this movie came at a point in Marilyn's career where she was, where her star was hugely on the rise. And of course, uh, after this, she went on to do How to Marry a Millionaire, which is perhaps an even more famous, uh, and Seven Year Rich and a number of other pictures that are even more famous, using a similar, uh, uh, character that she created here. Uh, it's no small part, of course, that this movie is so famous because of the the uh, iconic uh, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend number, one of the most iconic uh, sequence musical sequences in all of in all of Hollywood movies, and a real favorite of mine. Brilliantly choreographed by the by the terrific choreographer Jack Cole. It's something I love pointing out about that number that you may not know is that Marnie Nixon, who was the singing, very famous off-screen singing voice of uh, Natalie Wood and West Side Story and uh, Audrey Hepburn and uh, My Fair Lady, Deborah Carr and the King and I, uh, she was also a very accomplished singer in her own right, uh, does a little bit of singing in that Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend number for Marilyn. Uh, so as you see the movie tonight, it's only a single line. So uh, see if you can pick it out as it goes by. I don't think I would have been able to had Marnie not uh, pointed it out to me years ago. So a little bit about the restoration. Gentlemen Before Blondes was among the very last films photographed at Fox in the three-strip Technicolor process. Uh, by late 1953 and, and onward, uh, Fox moved to Cinemascope and, and uh, Eastman Color. I bring this up because it's also a transition. It was also a transition time from uh, nitrate film to safety film. And Gentlemen Prefer Blondes is uh, unique in the Fox archives as the, uh, as the last surviving Eastman Color three strip feature negative. Uh, I, this is important because nitrate film uh, in the 1970s, all of the studios had to, to do something to protect and divest themselves in one way or another of holding their nitrate film, which was very thought to be very dangerous and flammable on the studio premises. So Fox undertook a, a systematic program of copying and then incinerating all of its nitrate. So when restoring nitrate, uh, when restoring Technicolor films, it's very unusual for us at Fox to have had three strip materials to work from. But on Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, we did. The three strip camera negatives, red, green, and blue, which you may have heard about, I'm sure, earlier this weekend, uh, were scanned at 4K at a place called Lowry Digital in Los Angeles, digitally cleaned up, and then digitally uh, recombined to create this new ECP that you'll see tonight, as well as a, as well as a film uh, record, uh, film out for film to make film prints. The sound was similarly digitally restored. The goal of these restorations is always to try to, as much as possible, recreate the original experience of seeing and hearing a movie in a theater. And having the most original material, in this case, these negatives and sound materials, uh, allowed us, I think, to do that. Uh, this project is among my favorites that I got to work on in the nearly 25 years that I was there. And I'm so sad that I'm not there to, to share it with you in person, but I really uh, thank you so much for coming and I can't wait for you to experience it. So I'll shut up and I'll let Marilyn and Jane take it from here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sean.